Hello world, my name is Silver Draconis and welcome back to Fran Bo. In the last episode, we crashed in our ship and Itward is nowhere to be found. Um, so now we are simply gonna try and head back home because we're on the outskirts of our town. So let's just get going. Oh my goodness! This is our street, Kitty! Hey, street! Yes, it is! We can't investigate any of the other doors. Alright. Ah, this must be our house! Any. Uh, is this me or the cat talking? I think it's me. And here we are! This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Hopefully. Okay. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have a kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Mm, let's find it. I think it's in probably a flower pot. One sec. Ah! It says, I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran? That's me! Oh. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? I don't know. Hmm. There's a window and a vine. Perhaps we can climb the vine? Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. Maybe you're in a different reality. Maybe this is a different friend's house. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Or, uh, all right. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Mm, careful, Midnight. Okay. Oh, that's the window to my room. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Dr. Deer? Oh god, I don't remember what voice I gave him. Uh. Fran, I don't believe this. You're alive. Where were you? Dr. Deer? I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling the truth. He's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Hey, don't... Don't... Hey! It's midnight, no! Whoa! The locusts and Kamalas. Oh, this is awkward. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about this? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. 
I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at those documents. Family murder and haste. Where's where? Perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Humo, says it seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick and instantaneous death. Also, there was no signs of struggle on the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lu Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Frambo, was found in the woods one day after the parents' murder. She froze to death. But, whoa, we didn't freeze. We've been thought dead for that long? Hey, that symbol. Look at that. Dear Gladys, let the no newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding out about her parents' murder. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. <sighs> Who told her to lie about me? I'm not dead! Hmm. Oh, Mommy, I recognize your hand. Oh, Mommy and Daddy, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Gladys Hannah? Isn't that the nurse? Why did she get this letter? I'm not dead and I'm not free from all pain. Yeah, that's for Danny sure. That's simple, though. I wonder if that's the goat symbol. But I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medication was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ooh, Fran, when you put it like that, that sounds really weird. Ultra reality. That must be the consequences of the duo team, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some medis more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All oh, my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. Ooh! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Whoa. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? Another reality of him, perhaps. I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's just focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. I wish I had stayed in the Thirst Eye with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward or Palantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris, Edward, please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of a Thirsta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. Well, kind of more like a nightmare at times. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Binnett, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Aha! Uh -huh. So they were in the hospital. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Itward. Itward. Edward, I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. And their spirits were trapped there. By Itward. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you could help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. 
Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Alright. So Clara and Mia were in the hospital, and they did get sewed together. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. I will in a moment, when I search things. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. Let me see if I can search in the car. I'm gonna look at these again. Is there anything I can... No, okay. Oh, there's a crowbar. Boink! A crowbar? I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Mm, the gearbox. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. It can't be good to press all the buttons. I never touched the steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. The car seats are quite comfortable. Alright. So, let's go onward. We now have a crowbar! Moha! But don't tell the doctor. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran. But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean, right by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Oh god, dude, you're gonna make a look at our parents' dead bodies. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the Deedle Worms came already. Who? <sighs> anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Deer, and I'll see you soon. <sighs> Jesus. Martin Bow, father, 1901 to 1944. Lucina Bo Dagenhart, 1905 to 1944. Oh, she was older. And on the same day, Rambo Dagenhart, 1934 to 1944. On the, they had a lock to the same day. Rose, is that for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? Oh, lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. Little candle, keep my parents warm. Oh, that's sad. All the things we've seen, I think this might be the most messed up thing. Having Fran dig up her own bodies. No name, no flowers? Maybe nobody is down there. I wonder if we can get in here. Oh, it's stuck! This must be the shovel storage room, just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Yeah, probably the crowbar. That reminds me of we sold that box. And the cat doll. Did it work? Oh, it's a pine cone creature! Shh, you have to keep down, Fabio! Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting! Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Leather? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedle worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? Huh, alright, I'll see what I can do. Um, I think the car seats were leather? Maybe we can cut them up? Dr. Deer isn't here. Lucky. If anyone see us carving up his seats. Uh, Cause yeah, the car seats are quite comfortable. 
I'm glad it's not real leather, it's more friendly. Yeah. So use our handy dandy dank. Sorry, dear. Oops, what a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. Alright, back to the pine gold man. Sebastian was his name, I believe. Uh, can I look at this? Hmm. Oh, there's a keyhole. Wow, it opened. Is that a keyhole? I wonder what would happen if I find the key. I don't know. Oh, there's still this thing. Which makes no sense to me. Hmm. Alright then, for a later date. For now, leather. Or pleather, I suppose. Hey, you are. Well, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinezillas, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just get it, just a second. Okay. Oh, you all right? Ouch, are you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh, he's okay. I'm, I'm all right, miss, yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh? Fabio? Oh. Time to go. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Bye. Hmm, there's nothing in here I could use. Wait, really? This is not wonderful at all. I need to find, to find something to dig with. I can't dig with a broom. Aw, oh, man. There wasn't even any shovels in there. Well, now what? Oh! There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Right. This ain't weird at all. Ugh. Well, now I have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my case. In my- <laughs> I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. I had a crowbar in my case, just in car. That's English. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. I'd rather not, dude. You know how messed up this is. Like, we've seen, like, eviscerated bodies and, like, twins' spirits fused together and weird mutated stitch babies, and this is the most messed up thing. Like, I'm just letting you know that. We, we've seen some shit, and this is fucking messed up. All right, sir. I'll open them. Uh, not that. Uh, all right then. I guess. How can I? Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh my goodness, father! The deedle worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, Daddy? Oh, Mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is that bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Mommy. Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin! Great! I suppose she has seen her own dead body elsewhere. <laughs> but that can't be, my kitty, because Mr. Midnight is at home. Yep, yeah, maybe this is an alternate reality. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Okay. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing. And maybe this one actually is your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you. Please? All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Yeah, let's. Ugh. Well, you're not even gonna bury them again? All right. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? I don't know. I, I kinda wanna look again, Fran, I'm sorry. I don't see anything. Ah. 
Not nothing but nothing. Oh! Remor! Put him down! Put Dr. Deer down! Oh god, where'd you take him? Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Oh god, no! Quit! Oh, crap. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. No, Fran, resist. If you want to find those you love. In darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Oh, Fran. The House of Madness. Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I... really? That's incredible! I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. What? That is highly improbable, to the ninth degree. That is not true, it can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight, he's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling, you need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining fan, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because evil will never hide. Little, little shining fan, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. I knew Aunt Grace was bad! I knew it! She's in league with that demon! Oh no, don't leave me here! Aunt Grace, come back, please! Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine. But what should I do now? Um. Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it. The clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. And you can travel through realities, Fran. Maybe we can make this work. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, then how can I make contact with her? Dr. Deeren said that everything is in my head. Um, I don't know. Any monsters in the closet? I guess not. <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Ugh, the nurse has always chained me to the bed. Um, to ride the choo-choo train is the best. Whoa! Here we are. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Oh, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. 
Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it, the only way to cross into alter reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to vin visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty! You know, our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So what happens, I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh. So I'm this friend now. Okay. Oh, a straight jacket. And the dress that we're wearing. Edward and Palantris. I drew this after my journey with Edward and Palantris. I think Palantris is funny and smells like bubblegum. And Edward likes to play all day long. Ah, my yellow dress is so pretty. I'll try not to grow up too much so I can use it forever. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. Ah, that jacket. I always must put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play then. It's quite useless. Yeesh. One blue blanket and one white. I don't need them right now. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. I don't feel like drawing right now. Some of my clothing to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. It gives more character. Did you do bad things? That's why you're grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. These must be the keys. My key collection. I hope I can unlock the other friend now. Lost and found. Alright. Let's look around this room. Seems like this friend is in the asylum. Did you like my show, little bear? The big teddy that eats the big monsters. Please talk, I know you can. No? These are pants and can be used by creatures with two legs. The blue scarf is from winter time. What is it doing here? It is not winter. This shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. It's been lying on the floor since then. We had the same carousel. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh, she even says the same things about it. Okay, but let's see if we can't unlock. Please, friend, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. I suppose I need to do this. Let's see. Which key? Uh... Perhaps the silver one. Oop, I gotta click and drag. Ah, won't fit. Let's try another one. Yeah, let's try this one. Oopsie. Aha! Unlocked! Second try! Yes! Yay! We're free! Thank you so much, Fran. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. Ah, fuck. Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh, it's that nurse lady. Come on, Fran, you must see the doctor now. She can't see us. And now we're back in our world. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. Right? She's like, wait! I need answers! Damn it! And the nurse is bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyways, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. I suppose if that friend didn't have Midnight, then she would have no reason to leave the asylum. Like, the whole reason we left the asylum was to go find Mr. Midnight. So, she must have done all her adventures in the asylum, then. Like, gone to Thurston and stuff from there. 
Interesting. Paths diverging. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! Alright. Well, I think that is gonna do it for this episode, then. It's a bit of more of a grim one, having to dig up our parents' graves. But we have, we're starting to master our powers. At least some, well, maybe not master, but learn how to use them, at least, to go into different realities. But this is fascinating. This is, this is very, very fascinating. Ah, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!